Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Trucker. Uh, before we get started, I want to do a disclaimer. It is 101 degrees outside my trailer right now. I have the AC on at full blast um, and my trailer is using quite a bit of power. Uh, at the end of my last recording that I was doing, the power went out and I had to go back and flip the breaker. So there's a decent chance that I may either may not be able to finish this video or it might abruptly cut off. So if that happens, that's why. Uh, before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you to help us reach 10,000 subscribers by clicking that subscribe button. The number only goes up if you press the button. Click the like button to help the video spread out to more people so they have a chance to subscribe. And we have more than 1,600 other videos, gaming videos on the channel that you can go check out after you're finished watching this one. I play a bunch of different games and it's organized in a nice, neat little playlist for your convenience. So, all that said, let's figure out... This is the one we saved in the last. I'm hoping we'll be able to get through this with no problems, but it is the hottest part of the day right now. Um, I have to record now because I have a live stream, hopefully later, assuming assuming we don't, <laughs> assuming it's not still too hot by then for me to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to get this done. Yeah, we finished over here at the job board. So we'll stop here. Try to do this. I'm getting a little bit sort of used to the controls, but Realistically, I'm, I'm looking, f they're supposedly working on customizable keybinds and also just joystick controls. I'm really looking forward to, at the very least, the, I want, well, I want the customizable keybinds because, especially for something like this where I, where we don't have lateral control anyways, where we don't have thrusters or whatever to go left and right and up and down and all that, I don't need a throttle or anything um, other than the throttle that's on my stick. And I'd like to, and I can use, uh, and if I really want to, I can just use the WASD keys and all of that. So right now, I think we're still working on trying to get to uh, 80,000 miles to get that quest done. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to do a, uh, we're going to try to figure out which one of these is going to give us, so we got a rush delivery in four hours and 23 minutes. The destination one. I'm, I'm not doing any more of these rush deliveries because I end up getting penalized for not making them. Even with as and I'm a and I rush around and try to hurry up and do things, and I still end up not getting there on time. I think that the I think that there needs to be a balance adjustment for these to make it to give you a little bit more time to make it more reasonable. Um, but especially because you know you have no control over how fast time moves in. I'm mean, I'm sure there's a standard time, but what I'm saying is is that there's no there's very little margin for actually making it and so i don't really want to do any more of these rush deliveries i think what we'll do is we'll do one of these one let's see that's a recycled tech do they all say rush deliveries so that says rush delivery rush delivery yeah i want uh, well, i mean i'd like to do i want to do one that's here in the system so this one wants us to go to atlas prime it's going to pay us a thousand bucks to do it it takes two there is no uh, oh i keep forgetting okay never mind hold on well i don't want to i don't want to i know you guys are screaming at the screen that's not how it works dude that's not how i i i remembered again um the way this is laid out it's just not intuitive to me so every time i go through this it's just it doesn't make a lot of sense expected by is when you have to have it there the expected by right now and it doesn't help that the the current time is way up here, and then the expect like it would be nice if they had this laid out in a way that said, "This is what time it is now. This is what time it is there." Estimated time. I mean, I guess it gives you the estimated time on how long it's going to take you to get there, but yeah, I'm nitpicking. I understand, but I haven't developed the muscle memory to be like, "Okay, well, here's the time, and here's when it's supposed to be there, and here, like, it's all just." I don't like it when things are all over the screen, and I have like it should all be. I, I am a, I am big on layouts and stuff like that. I want things to be laid out in a way that's efficient. And it's not efficient to have to look over here and then 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 look over here. Like, I know it's a nitpicky thing, but that's just how I am. I'm sorry. Uh, so anyways, I want to, I, hold on. I, I want to do this one, but I need to pay attention here. It's going to take us about three hours to get done, which means we should get there by 6.30. It's due by eight. So we should have plenty of time to get it done. So we're going to take that one. So let's get out of here. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I I don't know. Part of me, hold on, let me figure out where our cargo is so we can start heading over there. Part of me does not, um, I'm less concerned about having joystick control than I am about having the custom keybinds because you're gonna wanna use the mouse to look around and do all this stuff anyway. The big thing that I really want to be able to switch out is just my custom keybinds so that I can make sure that my W and S keys are my 
forward and backward keys because I really need to get away from this space and space and shift setup here. It's not intuitive in the slightest for me. And while, even though I'm kind of getting used to it, I don't want to get used to it because I want to make sure that I keep my fingers, my, my finger muscle memory set up for my Elite Dangerous stuff and not have to learn and go back and forth between them. So I really, I'm really looking forward to the key binds. Like, see, I'm, I'm trying to press forward to go forward. And in this game, you have to press space. So I'm really looking, for, like, I'm hoping that the key bind stuff is coming like in the next few days soon and not hey it's going to be another month or so before it comes cuz i really don't i don't want to learn i don't want to relearn this stuff i would much rather i would much rather my up and down keys be something else i don't know what but i'd much rather them be something else q and e i do typically have as my roll keys when i'm using the keyboard only so that's not as big of a deal for me and um W, my W and because normally when I have like if I'm doing an Elite Dangerous and I'm oh, oh, where is my where is my I'm confused alright I'm just going to have to do this I, I don't like having to do this but I've gotten myself confused um, I normally when I'm oh oh that's not yeah, this is this is why I like staying inside the cockpit because now the controls are just uncomfortable. Okay. So now can I see I'm trying to find there it is. Alright, finally. Now I finally found my reference point. Um, when I'm in Elite Dangerous, when I get tired of using my joystick and I start doing just keyboard alone. Um, I'll have W and I'll have W and S as my forward and backwards thrust, and then I'll have A and D as yaw left and yaw right, and then Q and E as roll left and roll right. And let me guess, I'm not lined up. That's annoying. That's uh, that's something that honestly I think they should change. They should fix that because, um, oops, wrong way. In my Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator, it is possible to to uh, hitch to those things at an angle. And now they're forcing me to have to spend all this extra time. And I also hit it, so now it's now it's going off in a different direction. That's something that really should be fixed. That that needs to be changed. That that's that's like a as far as I'm concerned, and I know it's just me, but that's a. That's ridiculous. So, like a lot of people are going gaga over this game, and I'm just—I don't—I don't understand. I don't understand why people. I mean, I, I know it's just my opinion. I get it. I understand. I'm just one person, and it's my opinion. But I just don't understand people's mad, like massively positive. Oh my god, this game is the best thing since sliced bread. Opinion. Like, I'm sorry. There's things about this game that are just super frustrating and annoying, and. I, I just I don't know that I can see myself continuing to play. I'm, I'm playing on the easiest setting and I'm having to hop out to do a hull repair for a hull breach when I just tapped the station. I could understand if I was doing like 40, 50 miles an hour and I slammed into something. That, okay, that's reasonable that there's a hull breach for that. I tapped this damn thing and I'm getting a hull breach. That's ridiculous. I don't care, like, if, if, the, if the truck is that fragile, it shouldn't be, no, like, you shouldn't be using it. This should, it should be scrapped and we should have something else. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous that you, you can't even bump into anything without getting a damn... without getting a damn uh, hull breach. I think people, I think people are, are enamored with the style of the game and they're letting that override the obvious, the obvious issues that it has. Because it has some serious issues. They're all. I think a lot of people are also. They're. They're also. Um, they're also giving a lot of leeway because. See, look. I like. I barely tapped anything. Why do I have another hull breach? This is unreasonable. This is unreasonable. 
So now I have to go out again because I tapped some stuff and I'm probably gonna get charged for careless driving because I bumped into some stuff. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't get on board with that. I can't get on board with that being something that's okay because it's not, it's not okay. It's already, like we already don't make enough money and then if you don't do it perfectly, you can't make any money because they take half of your freaking money for charges and stuff. You're also having to waste a bunch of time coming out, wasting energy on coming to fix this stuff because, oh, you tapped into something. Like, I don't, I don't see myself playing this game for much longer. I, I'm, I'm trying to give it, I'm trying to give it some time to maybe get used to it, get some, like, but every time I play this game, something happens that makes me like, you know, F this, this is ridiculous. I can't even, I can't even, oh, did I miss one? Is there another one? This, this may be my last episode of Star Trucker. Um, until I see some kind of serious updates to some things because like, where's the other one? All right, there it is. Because this is like, this, this, the EVA system is fun the first couple of times you do it, but when you're having to stop all the time to fix this crap, that's not fun. This is like, this, this is, this has become a chore now. It's not fun anymore. I want to get my load to where I'm trying to go. And all this, all this having to stop because I tap, I, I, I lightly bump into things and I have to stop to fix my hull because of it, that's, that's way too overboard on the fragility of the rig. Like, it's a truck for, for, for crying out loud. I, mean, I almost cussed there. It's a freaking truck. It's a big freaking Mac tr style truck. It should have a little bit of durability. It should have the capability of being able to, you know, tap into things and not completely fall apart. I don't think that's unreasonable. All right, so we are going to Medusa 6. Like, I know, I know I've spent the entire time of me making these videos for this game complaining, but in, in my, oh, I didn't even see him. That, I'll admit when it's my fault, I wasn't paying. I thought I got out of the way enough of that. And look, another, f I, you know what? We're not losing air, so I'm not, I'm not stopping again. Um, it's just, I just, I don't know. And, I, and a lot of people like really love this game already and I don't get it. I don't get it. I think maybe this is a symptom of people just accepting a games industry that has been providing them with crap for so long that they just accept things like this as part of the, as part of what goes on. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't accept crap. And that's what this is. This is crap as far as I'm concerned. When you're, when you're designing a game, there needs to be a thought process that goes, is this going to become annoying after a while? And not enough developers actually spend the time doing this, like being in their game and playing it as a game enough to realize that, oh yeah, this is becoming quite annoying. And maybe we should, maybe we should dial this back a little bit. So we need to go to Atlas Prime. Um, you know, it's just, it's a cumul... It's, there's no one thing about this game that's just like, oh my god, it sucks. But there is a accumulation of... There is an aggregate... What's the word I'm looking for? There is a list of small things that add up to make the game just really annoying to play, at least for me. Maybe other people are more tolerant of things that are like this, but I, especially for something that's supposed to be a truck sim slash a space sim, two things that should be two things that should be hyper attention to detailed. <laughs> it doesn't 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 feel like this has it, and I'm sure that's a I'm sure that's a con I'm sure that's a consequence of the fact that there's only two developers. Uh, like I get it, I understand. It's impressive that two people were able to put this together. But at the same time, it's like, at the end of the day, I'm playing a game and I want the game to meet a certain quality standard, regardless of how many people were working on it. So, you know. Oh, I did want to address something, a comment that uh, one of my viewers made about um, me complaining about getting a fee for careless driving. 
uh, and they, they pointed out that I did bump into something. I'm not the kind of person who is going to sit there and just stubbornly say that I'm right and everyone else is wrong. If I, if I miss something or I'm wrong, I make a mistake, I'm more than happy to admit, hey, I screwed that up, that was my fault. And if that's the case, cool, no problem. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to try to put it as something as like I'm, I'm, den I'm in denial about the fact that you know I did something wrong. Okay, yeah, I bumped into something. That's that's fine. I, to I totally take the uh, I totally take the onus to that. Still though, like, the, and I'm not trying to get out of any kind of accountability. I'm just I want I would prefer it if the fee for that made it clear that that's what that was for, because careless driving sounds like. Big Brother's watching me, and the company's watching me, and they're charging me because I was driving too fast or something like that. You know what I mean? The, so, I know it's a nitpicky thing, but at the same time, the, the fee is not specific enough to let me know what it was that I did wrong so I can, so I can avoid that in the future. Because um, what do they consider? What, what was the careless driving? Was it me bumping into their station? Was it me speeding? Was it me hitting something else? If it was me hitting something else, then I should be charged from another entity. You know what I mean? So, um, like again, I want to I want to repeat that I know that the fee was because I did something wrong. Like I'm not trying to get out of that. That's not my point. That's why I keep bringing it back up because I don't I don't want you to feel like I'm shift I'm trying to shift the blame away from me. Clearly, I did something wrong, and that's fine. I get it. But the the inf the way they impart information needs to be updated in a way that makes it clear what you did wrong and in a way that makes it so that you can avoid doing that again in the future or at least you can or at the very least you if you're willing to take the risk of it happening and again you're taking an informed risk that you know that you know if I do this thing I'm they might take money away from my shipment Care, uh, careless driving or whatever it was that the fee was is not enough information for me to understand oh I did this and this specific thing is what caused me to get a fee so I don't know so I, I, I know I'm going overboard with trying to make sure make sure I'm taking accountability for the fact that yes I did make a mistake I'm, I am I'm intentionally doing that because I know there's people out there they're gonna be like ah, he just he's just trying to he's just trying to shift the blame to somebody else no Okay, I bumped into their station. Cool. I should be charged for that because I'm damaging their property. I'm damaging their load and I'm also damaging their property. So that's that's reasonable. But the fee itself should be updated to say damage the station or something like that. Something that makes it clear that I did something to their property for which they are charging me for. Anything between me picking up their load and getting their load to them, if it's not if it's not damaging their property or damaging their load, they should have no, they have no business being involved in that. That's local authorities charging me. And that should come from a different source. It should be located in a different spot. Uh, it should be something similar to the way you get charged for the express fee. It just pops up and says, you know, you bump into something and it says penalty for collision with this thing or something like that. That's the way that should work. So, care yeah, see, careless driving. This is this is not enough information to let me know that I did some, to let me know what it was that I did wrong. Now, I understand that some of you are going to say, well, you should just be always making sure that you're driving super careful and not bumping into anything. Well, unprofessional conduct. I didn't even get that far before unprofessional conduct. What what, what unprofessional conduct? What are the, what The problem is, is that not everybody plays games the same way. And at the same, so, so there's oh, you're always gonna have people who are trying to work around the system. You have that in real life and you have that in video games. And your game should be designed in a way that if you're gonna make it a simulator especially, that allows people to work around the system. So for example, if you want to, if you want to charge people for speeding, then that's fine, but it needs to be something that people can figure out ways around to reduce their tri their trip time. So in real life, people speed and then they take the risk and hopefully the cops don't catch them. They don't get pulled over. They don't get a ticket, right? That's the way it works in real life. That's how trucking simulators and stuff work, right? You pass by a speed trap, you get a fee. You pass by a cop, you get a fee. But if no, no speed traps and no cops, you can speed to your heart's content and there's no consequences as long as you don't hit anything, right? Same thing here. 
when I can understand them charging me for hitting their terminal uh, when I do the pickup, and I can understand understand them charging me for hitting their terminal at the drop off. But everywhere in between, that company has no stake in any of that. So being charged for careless driving, unless I specifically hit their property, I should not get a charge for that. And this should not be listed as careless driving. It should be listed as uh, property damage, property damage colon uh, this station or whatever. So something that's more specific that lets me know that this is why you're charging me money other than just random careless driving that as far as I know, happened at any point along the route. You don't get to charge me for what happens between your stage, your your pickup and your drop off. Government authorities can because I'm doing things that I'm not supposed to be doing. But the company doesn't get to do that. That's not the way this works. And to be perfectly honest, this either needs to be completely removed or it needs to be adjusted so that it's clear to the driver what happened to cost me two hundred and seventy three dollars. Because as far as as far as I'm aware, Maybe me bumping into their station during the pickup because I had some issues trying to get the pickup done, right? That might be it. Or this could be anything along the route because I guess they the developers decided to fold in careless driving anywhere along the route as part of the they're just going to take it out of my out of my pay. I, I don't understand how this works. There's not enough information here. What is unprofessional conduct? What what is that? There's no role playing in this game. I'm not talking to anybody. There's no like what did, what did I do that was unprofessional conduct? The only thing I understand, the only penalty I understand on this line item here, on this list here is this line item. Damaged client property. Okay, I bumped into their thing, that caused some damage. Fine. That makes sense. This one makes no sense to me, at least with the information provided. I'm assuming it's because I crashed into their station during the pickup. It's the only thing I can think of. This makes absolutely zero sense to me at all. This makes no sense at all. So there needs to be some updates to the way that all of this stuff is is imparted to the drive to us as players, so that we know what they are and we can either minimize or completely reduce or minimize or completely remove this from happening in the future. Because, like, like. I'm losing 200 and set like this is the most I'm losing the most because of careless driving. What does that mean? What does that mean? Other than I bumped into some stuff. But what? What did I bump into that they that the company I'm working for or the, the company I'm delivering for is charging me for it? We need more information here. I've rambled on about that enough. I'm sorry. But I I do this. I, I, I go off on these tangents because I want to make sure I'm fully understood as to why I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Right? Like, when I complain about something, I want to make sure it's clear why I'm complaining about it. It's not, I'm not just like, oh, this sucks, and then that's it. Like, there's a, there, most of the time when I complain about something, at least in my personal opinion, there's a specific reason, and to me, it's a good reason as to why I'm complaining about it. And I try to provide logical arguments as to why it should be changed. Because when people just complain without providing solutions, that's when things, that's when it's just annoying. I try to complain and also provide ways to fix it. So, and hopefully, you know, for most people, at the very least, you can agree with my point of view, even if you don't like the fact that I'm bringing up a negative. So, yeah. Um, anyways, my rambling has made it so that uh, we don't really have time to do another load, which is fine because it's really hot right now and I kind of want to get this video shut off before my breaker flips again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as you can listening to me complain about this stuff. Um, I do. I make no promises that there will be further videos um, because I just I have some serious issues with this. But uh, at any rate, if you agree with my positions, Feel free to leave comments in the comment section, like the video, spread it out. Uh, I do have other games that I play that I enjoy more, and you'll get a better experience out of those. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel to help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Go check out the channel for more videos uh, for different games that I'm playing. Uh, join the channel as a member if you'd like to support my work here, uh, which will give you access to you know early videos and things like that. Click the, you can uh, also do YouTube's version of a tip with the thanks button if you'd like to support with just like a one-time kind of thing. Uh, that's appreciated as well. So uh, yeah, enough of me messing around with this game. Uh, I may or may not make more videos. I will probably come back. I'm thinking I probably won't make any more videos until the new keybinds come out because I, I just, I don't want to keep training myself to, to 
operate this thing in a way that just is completely foreign to what I'm used to. So I may not make any more Star Trekker videos until I see that an update has come out that allows you to do keybinds and preferably the joystick as well. That should resolve a lot of my issues because I'll have a lot more control over the rig ideally. We'll see. But uh, we'll just play that by ear. If you see another video tomorrow, it's because I just decided to play. I'm not, I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm just preparing you for the fact that there may not be another video for a little bit. Because I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of having to deal with the, the irritations of this game. So anyways, I'll see you for the next one. Have a great day.